Dilution notes. A dilution is the process adding more solvent to a solution where we don't add more solute to lower the molarity. The following are some situations where you make or have made dilutions. Juice from concentrate, Kool-Aid, IV solutions in a hospital, thinning sauces in cooking. Dilutions are usually done from stock solutions. These are set solutions with a known molarity and a scientist can draw the desired volume from them. The stock solution's molarity and volume will be referred to as the starting molarity and volume in our dilution problems. The dilution equation is very short. M1 times V1 equals M2 times V2. The left side of the equation represents the starting molarity and the starting volume of the stock solution. The volume unit usually should always be in liters when doing this calculation. Remember, one liter is equal to a thousand milliliters. The right side of the equation represents the diluted molarity and the diluted volume of the after amounts. The volume here should also always be in liters for the unit. Kyle has a 1.25 molarity solution of HCl. If he wants to create 5.5 liters of 0.25 molarity solution, how many liters of stock solution should he begin with? If you set up your problem like this, you can easily identify the missing quantity. Your starting molarity is 1.25 M. The starting volume is missing. The ending molarity is 0.25 M. The ending volume is 5.5 liters. Now we substitute into our starting equation, where 1.25 M times V1 equals 0.25 M times 5.5 liters. Now we isolate the variable, which is V1 in this case. So we divide both sides by 1.25. The 1.25 on the left side cancels out, leaving only the 1.25 on the right side. So our resulting problem is 1.375 molarity divided by 1.25 molarity. Notice that I've already, div or I've already multiplied 0.25 times 5.5. This is where I obtained 1.375 molarity liters from. After doing this division, we obtain the answer, 1.1 liters. Notice my answer is in two significant figures because the 0.25 molarity and the 5.5 liters each have two significant figures. Next practice problem. Thomas uses 4.30 liters of 12 molarity H2SO4 stock solution to create 35.5 liters of solution. What is the molarity of the solution he's created? Again, we're going to set this problem like so, so that we can clearly identify the missing quantity. Our starting molarity is 12 molarity. Our starting volume is 4.30 liters. Our ending molarity is unknown. And our ending volume is 35.5 liters. We substitute each known value into our original equation. Now we isolate the variable. We also simplify. 12 molarity times 4.30 is 51.6. We isolate M2 by dividing both sides by 35.5 liters. 
our answer becomes 1.45. Practice part two. Jake uses 30 milliliters of 5.5 molarity uh, NaCl solution to create a new solution with a molarity of 0 0.75 molarity. What is the volume of the new solution? Again, by setting the problem up this way, we can identify the missing variable quickly. Molarity one, or the starting molarity is 5.5 molarity. Starting volume is 30 milliliters. The ending molarity is 0.75 molarity, and the ending volume is unknown. Before we can proceed to the next step, we must change that 30 milliliters into liters. To do this, we divide by 1,000. Now we substitute all the known values and the unknown values into the formula for dilutions. We isolate the variable, in this case V2, and we simplify. 5.5 times 0 0.03 liters is 0 0.165 molarity liters. We divide that by 0 0.75 molarity and obtain the answer, which is 0 0.22 liters. Next, Daniel uses 15 milliliters of stock lithium chloride solution to create 3.25 liters of one molarity solution. What was the molarity of the stock solution? You'll notice that the missing variable is M1. You'll also notice that we have one unit that's out of sort, which is the milliliter, the 15 milliliter, so we have to convert that into liters by dividing the 15 by 1,000. Next, we substitute all the quantities into the formula for dilutions. We isolate the variable and simplify. And we divide to obtain the answer, which is 216.7 molarity.